Hi students. Today we are going to discuss how to represent root 5 and root 10 on a number line. In my previous video we have discussed how to represent root 2 on a number line. For that what we have done? We made a right angle triangle. Right angled a uh, a right angle triangle ABC right angled at B and we took the higher length of the hypotenuse as root 2 and we know that the Pythagoras theorem what is Pythagoras theorem hypotenuse square equal to B square plus altitude square here the hypotenuse is AC so AC square equal to B square AB square plus BC square and uh, what is the length of the hypotenuse? It is root 2. So root 2 square. What is root 2 square? It is 2. And we are making, we are going to split this 2 into 2 numbers. And that numbers must be perfect squares. And we know that 2 equal to 1 plus 1. And 1 is a perfect square. Or we can write it as 1 square plus 1 square. Root 2 square equal to 1 square plus 1 square. That means, what is the length of AB? AB as 1 and BC as 1. So, here the base length is 1 and the hypoten uh, height also 1. Then we will get a right angle triangle of uh, hypotenuse root 2. Same method only we are doing for root 5 and uh, root 10. For that we are drawing a right angle triangle. Uh, first we will discuss about root 5. So here the name of the right angle triangle is ABC right angled at B and we are taking the length of the hypotenuse as root 5 and we know Pythagoras theorem. What is Pythagoras theorem? AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. And here AC square. What is AC? Root 5. So root 5 square is 5. And we are going to split this 5 into 2 numbers. That 2 numbers must be perfect squares. So here 5 we can uh, write it as uh, 4 plus 1. And 4 and 1 both are perfect squares. Because 4 is equal to 2 square. And 1 is 1 square. That means root 5 square equal to 2 square plus 1 square. That means length of AB as 2 and length of BC as 1. So here we can take AB as 2 and BC as 1. Or we can interchange, no problem. We can take 1 plus 4. That means AB we will get as 1 and BC we will get 2. No problem. So first let us uh, consider, let us represent root 5 on the number line. For that I am going to draw a number line. Here I am taking 0. That means this point is A. Now AB is 2. So we have to take 2 unit. Either we can take 2 centimeter or we can take 2 inch. No problem. So here I am taking 2 inch. Then the figure will, will be a little bit big. So this point is B. So we can represent this point as 2. So AB is 2 unit. So AB 2 unit. Now at B we have to make 90 degree. For that I am taking a protractor and just mark 90 degree. Join these two. Now we got at B 90 degree. Now we have to take BC as 1 unit. So here 1 inch I am taking. This point is C. 1 inch. This is 2 inches. Now join A and C. 
Now we got the right angle triangle whose hypot length of the hypotenuse is root 5. Now we have to represent this root 5 on a number line. For that we have to take a compass and take the radius as root 5. Then draw an arc. It will cross the number line. So this point represents root 5. Oh, hope you got how to represent root 5 on number line. Now similarly we have to make uh, root 10 on number line. Same way we are doing. So root 5, root 10. For that I am uh, drawing a right angle triangle. A, B, C, right angled at to B and take the length of the hypotenuse as root 10. We know Pythagoras theorem. That is Pythagoras theorem. A C square equal to hypotenuse square equal to B square plus altitude square. B C square. Now what is A C? A C is root 10. Root 10 square. Root 10 square is 10. 10 we have to split into two numbers. That two numbers must be perfect squares. We know that uh, 1 plus 9. 1, 1 plus 9 is 10. And 1 is a perfect square. Uh, moreover, 9 is also a perfect square. And we know that 1 is 1. Square is 1. And 3 square is 9. So, length of AB we can take as 1. And length of BC we can take as 3. So, AB is 1 and BC is 3. We can interchange also. You can take AB as 3 and BC as 1. No problem. We will get a right angle triangle of hypotenuse root 10. Okay. Now, we are going to uh, represent this root 10 on the number line. For that, first I am making a, uh, first I am drawing a number line. Here I am taking 0, that point is A. Now, AB is 1 unit, so I am taking 1 inch instead of 1 centimeter. This point is B. So here 1 comes. Now at B we have to uh, make a 90 degree. For that I am taking a protractor. Just to mark it 90 degree. Join. Here I have to uh, take uh, 3 unit. Because BC is 3. So 3 inches I am taking. So it will come here. This point is C. Join A and C. So length of the hypotenuse is root 10. Now we have to represent this root 10 on the number line. For that we have to take this as the radius. Root 10 as the radius. Then draw an arc. It cuts the number line. That point is represents root 10. We can name this point as E. So this E represents, this point E represents root 10. Both questions are very important.